everybody and welcome back to Testing Basics. Today we're doing slip-on pointy shoes. I'm excited about this one. Out of all of the Testing Basics I do, I always think shoes are my favourite one because you can kind of get your teeth stuck into, a, into them a little bit more in terms of reviewing them. So as always, we have five from High Street to High End. Uh, the cheapest pair I have here are from H&M. Now I ordered a 7 online, UK 7, which is a European 40. A European 41 arrived and it fits perfectly, so it's this is deeply confusing. If you're going into store and you are a, full, a 7, get a 41. If you're ordering online, order as you would normally and the right size will arrive, even if it's got the wrong number on it. I was so insanely confused. I still am confused by the whole thing, but anyway, that's that very convoluted advice on sizing for these. These are incredibly affordable, £17 and 99 pence. They're a faux suede, pointy, um, with a frill here. They also come in tan. Uh, they cut really low onto the foot, just sort of the inner point, sort of the cleavage, as you were. There's a lot of foot cleavage going on. Uh, but they stay on the feet, no problem. They fit true to size. Well, no, they don't fit. I've, I've said the sizing. This fits really well. Like, 41 fits a 7 really well. Um, with this style of shoe, the width is important. I've got relatively narrow feet. Um, this kind of shoe, I can't keep my feet when it's really cold out because you know your feet shrink and then I'm just chasing it down the street the whole time. But so to say I have relatively narrow feet, I would say that these fit pretty well. They do come quite narrow through here, so it gives you a little bit of a hold there as well. All of the ones I have here, I can keep on my feet. When you try them on in the shop, if you've never bought a style of shoe like this before, really try and walk around and get, get going quite a bit because as your feet walk up when you, sorry, when your feet warm up as you're walking around, obviously they get like a bit sticky and sweaty and gross, but they also expand a little bit. So it's really hard trying these shoes on in a shop sometimes because if your feet are cold, they're going to feel like they're not going to stay on. You need to get a bit of a pace going to be able to tell. These down my feet fine. So that was H&M, $17.99 deeply confusing sizing that's all I can say about that so the next three I've got are all priced quite closely together I'm afraid which I know isn't ideal um, there's a lot on the high street of this style at the moment but they're all coming in at a similar price so next at £69 it's quite a jump up as well it's and of the stories these are also available in a gorgeous they didn't have my size left sort of burnt orangey red satin and black I think the black might be satin as well. These are in a size 40, and they are a size 40, and they fit like a size 40. Um, oh, do you know what? I don't know what they're made of. I didn't check that, so I'll write it on the screen here so you guys can see. It feels like leather, but it could also just be fake leather. Um, they don't um, cut quite as low down as the H&M ones, but there really isn't very much in it at all. Uh, they fit really, really well. Again, this is just a normal width to them I would say and they've got this zebra print over them which is quite fun I really do like how these look a lot um, and they fit just really good lengthwise true to size everything like that so that was and in story £69 and then moving up from here this is the oh no this, I've got two styles which don't go into a point so these if you again are new to this style of shoe the higher it comes up on the foot obviously the easier it is to gonna, is going to be to keep on your foot so something like this is going to be a bit easier than the H&M one if you are worried about that sort of thing. But honestly, they all sound your feet fine. I feel like I'm going on about this too much now. Anyway, Massimo Duty. These were £74.95. pence. These are a size 7 and they fit true to size. I really, really, really like these. really like them. They're like a um, blue turquoise satin and then they have a really nice gold detailing through the heel here, which you really wouldn't notice at first, but it's, I like that. And this bit's also suede here. Is it real suede? I think it is real suede, just this section here, which is nice. So these have quite nice detailing. I would say, to say there is only a five pound difference between these two. On first impressions, these look and feel considerably more expensive. There's no detailing on these, which make them particularly special at all, whereas there is on these. Uh, I haven't worn these ones yet, so I'm interested to see how this satin fares out and about because I feel like these could get wrecked very very quickly but we shall see. So that was Massimo Duty, £74.95. Let's call it £75 shall we for ease. 
Next up from there, these have been gifted to me. These are the only ones I haven't paid for. These are from June. These are £99. They're from, I believe they're part of the June Black range, which is their slightly more premium section. Again, these are just black satin style, and they're very reminiscent, well, they're reminiscent of lots of things. They remind me of some of the Manolo Blahniks, the Roger, Roger Vivier, is that how you say it? That sort of style of shoe. Uh, it's very ornate. I really, really, really like these. Um, they're kind of completely over the top, but they look fabulous. So they've got this, this reminds me of some sort of like a Robin Hood style buckle thing. I like it here, it's like a brooch almost, which is covered in diamantes. And then also the heel is covered in diamantes. I'm going to be like paying particularly close attention to any of these falling out through wear and tear. Um, and I will be impressed if they don't because I do find that normally stuff like this looks great but isn't the most practical. Um, these are a size 4 seat, they fit true to size. They're a slightly shallower point than some of the others if you don't like a really long and elongated point. These are slightly shallower so that's something to bear in mind. And width wise these are perfectly fine as well, they stay on really easily. So these are, they, I mean they're a statement aren't they, they're lovely, I think they'd be a really good shoe if you don't like wearing heels on an evening want an option for a nice smart flat and then the top one and the one that inspired all of this testing basics are my roshus ones these are 410 pounds so a massive jump um now these have had an unfair advantage because i've worn these a few more times because i got these was wearing them all the time and then um decided to film the testing basics so i'd already worn these a little bit which i don't normally do so i will keep that in mind um, but these are 40 and a half, go half a size up definitely in these. I initially got 40 and have to swap them because they just weren't big enough. Um, and they're velvet with this big bow on the front, really minimal, really classic. These look super narrow through here, but they're not. They're normal width. They look absolutely gorgeous on the foot as well. Um, and then it has this curved line here and then the really long pointed toe, which is a detail that I really like as well. So... Um, yeah, just wanted to make it clear that I have worn these ones a little bit more, which I will be keeping in mind. It's not something I normally do in these videos, but it's just the way it went this time. So that was Roshus. I'm probably saying that wrong as well, so I'm sorry. £410, half a size up for these ones. These are the only ones that aren't true to size, apart from the H&M, who God knows what size they actually are. I, know, I don't know what size they are, really. So you know how this works. I'm going to wear these over the next week or so, and then final thoughts at the end. Hi, guys. I have on the June shoes today. So you can hear the toilet running in the background, just had a wee and it's just flushing, it takes a while to shut off. Um, these are so, so, so comfortable, I just had one with Levi's, denim mini, finery, black t-shirt, it's a really lovely day today. I've walked a lot in these today and they're so comfy, they don't fall off your feet, they're literally not nipping anywhere, all of the rhinestones are still intact, yep. Yeah. They're absolutely, I really, 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 really like them. I'm really impressed with them. They're just super comfy and I think they look really cool. I've got seen two sets of people today and both complimented me on them. So really, 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 really like these. And I'm excited to wear them in jeans as well when it's um, a little bit cooler too. So these are getting a big thumbs up. Hey guys, I've got on the Roshas ones today. Now I've worn these a lot more than all the other ones because I got these before I started filming this video and then was like, I'm gonna do a testing basis on this style of shoe. So these have had an unfair advantage because they've had more wear, um, they've been worn more. And normally I don't do that in these videos, but I guess if I was gonna do it with any of them, the high end one is the best one to do it with to test it the most. So from the first wears of these, they hurt. They pinch the side of the feet quite a bit and it took me probably about two wear, two or three wears of a lot of walking to break them in. They didn't hurt to the point where you couldn't walk in them. They were just like the June ones yesterday, were that was the first time I wore them were comfortable as soon as I put them on. These weren't like that. However, they're very, very comfortable now. Um, I think they look absolutely amazing. Like I think they look nice in the June ones. There's something really chic about them. But they did hurt a bit. And the only other thing I would say is that the point of the toe is really, really, really long and it can catch the end of it a bit. So the velvet is ever so slightly scuffed at the end. I'll show you close-ups at the end of the video. So that would be the two points I want to make about them. Um, but they're very, very comfortable now that I've worn them in. I can walk for absolutely hours and these no problem. It's my friend's birthday today. We're going out for some bottomless brunch. Can't wait. Got on some Levi's. These um these new Levi's have got a new range called oh balls, the altered, altered range, something like that. 
and they do things like the 501s and different styles and they've got different seams on them they added different panels in and stuff like that and i believe these are the straight leg from that range like a washed back black cropped denim reformation body that i wear pretty much weekly actually and then um this denim yellow denim jacket which is from weekday i feel kind of 80s in this and i absolutely love it so that's my outfit today um, but yeah these shoes look insane but they're not comfortable to begin with hi guys i've had on the h&m ones today it's been kind of cold so i've had them on with my adam storage jeans and this cashmere knit from lara duke which i wore endlessly last winter mum's here if you hear me <laughs> around um <laughs> These are, they're really comfortable. This is the first time I've worn them and they've not rubbed me at all. You can walk all day in them easy peasy, but they do feel really cheap. They're really flimsy. I don't think they look the best at all. I much prefer the look of the other ones. Um, but they're definitely comfortable. If you wanted like a pair of shoes to slip on when you're nipping out, I think these are a good option. Um, but I think the other ones are worth the price difference because I don't love how they look and they do feel super flimsy like they're just really bendy and everything and there's a feather stuck to them which isn't their fault but um yeah they are comfortable though i will give them that they've been very comfortable to walk in hi guys had on the end of the stories once today with a really boring outfit feeling a tad uninspired day-to-day -day outfits at the moment so i've just got my end of the stories straight -like jeans and the stories t-shirts done with the blazer these have been really, really good. They've been really comfortable. Much, I feel like I'm saying a similar thing for all of them so far, but they've, they've been comfy for the first wear. They haven't fallen off my feet. I think they look really, really nice. These are actually probably one of my favorites in terms of how they look on the foot. They just look really cool, and I actually do really like the zebra print. It's a little bit fun to wear with a really basic outfit, like this one where you're feeling a bit uninspired. So yeah, I've been really, really, really liking these. They've been, good to wear but they do look really good as well so another good pair I'm doing well in this one on to the final day now guys had the Massimo duty ones on today I've just been running around doing errands and unfortunately we've come across a pair that don't stay on your feet very well they don't completely kick off but I have to sort of really tense my legs to you know you have to tense up your foot in a certain way to keep this shoe held on your foot and it actually sort of hurts your leg after a little bit as well so these are not the easiest to walk in and um, as I said I've been walking around doing errands and things and there's no marks on them whatsoever, it's not been raining or anything, I really don't think you can wear these in the rain at all. Um, and they're, but they're still looking good, they haven't, I mean they've not been heavily worn but they, well, their toes scuffed the tiniest bit but for the most part they're still looking pretty good after one wear which it's promising, but yeah, these are the only ones that are hard work to keep on your feet, which is such a shame because I really, really like how they look as well. Oh, almost got so. I'm wearing acne leather jacket, weekday jeans, finery London t-shirt. Boring. <laughs> okay, so final thoughts. In last place, I'm gonna put the Massimo Duty ones, uh, just because these are the only ones that had any issue with staying on the foot. They're probably the ones that I've worn the least, and it was, Partly just because of the day that I wore them, I wasn't out walking loads. But the time that I was walking, they were just, you have to kind of tense up your whole leg to keep them on your feet, and it's a bit uncomfortable. And the others aren't like that at all. The others have no issue with keeping on my feet. This was the only pair. And it is a shame because in terms of how they look, they would be one of my favorites. I absolutely love the look of them. Um, I love the detailing on them. I think that you do get certain aspects of that which make them feel worthwhile. And even though, as I said, they've only been worn relatively lightly, I mean, I did walk quite a bit in them. They don't seem to be showing any serious signs of wear. There's a small catch on the bow, but nothing serious. But long term, I think that these would not wear that well because they are just all satin and the light colour and everything like that. So these ones are coming in last place, which is a shame because, as I said, I think they look rather lovely but last place to those second to last place is going to be the h&m ones now these were super super comfortable no issues keeping these on the foot could walk all day in these however i think that they look the cheapest and they feel the cheapest and i think with these 17.99 or something they're really 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 affordable but i think the price what you get for the difference between these and the end of the stories ones and all the ones that are around that price point is considerable they those are the three feel way more luxurious and 
these just don't they feel flimsy and they were probably my least favorite aesthetically uh, that being said they are really comfortable so now that I've got five pairs of these I wouldn't necessarily reach for these that often in the future but they'd be a great like thrower on it you know just to slip on easy peasy with some jeans and a t-shirt when you just got to go out and get something done or whatever I think they'd be good for that but if you wanted something that feels a little bit more special than if you're after this style of flat because you want a flat that you can wear in the evening I think they are quite evening appropriate then these wouldn't necessarily be the ones that I would recommend so those were second place in third place I'm going to put the Rochus ones just because these have had the most wear I think I've made that quite clear throughout the video actually that these ones I've worn the most I mean you can see from the bottom of them that they've been quite heavily worn uh, the toe on both is scuffed the velvet scuffed off because the toe is so long and pointed I tend to catch it going up a curb that's I think when I've caught it the most and um, but the reason I'm putting them in third place is because they were the only ones out of all of them that gave you any discomfort they dig into the side of your foot around each, each bit here for the first few wears now I have got past that point with them and they are now really comfortable and in terms of how they look these hands down are my favorite I think it's the curve through the that section which just looks incredible there's something about them they're so elegant on the foot going forward I will probably wear these the most because of how much I love the way the look of them um, but I don't think you need to go and spend this money this much money on a pair of shoes of this style and these were the most uncomfortable ones initially despite being the most expensive but they do look absolutely really fantastic so that leaves me with and the stories in June now I kind of like these for different reasons these are a great pair of shoe I mean I feel like they should be priced at like 30 or 40 pounds or something like that because there's nothing about them that is that special really they definitely look and feel more expensive than the H&M ones but comparatively to com compar com comparing them to these ones directly uh, you definitely I feel like I've got something that feels and looks way more luxurious that's not just because of the design of them I know that it's obviously a very glitzy and looks design but as in the finishing of it just overall this just feels like a more expensive shoe than this one does so I wanted to make that quite clear um, so I'm going to put these in second place before that reason but they are really really comfortable I think they're a really really great style of this shoe I really like the shape of these it's ever so slightly more rounded than some of the other ones coming through this section here and I think it looks really good on the foot I like the print I would go and buy these in the I really like the burnt orange one that they've got I would purchase them again so I mean that's always a really good sign and as I said, they were really comfortable as well. I walked absolutely bloody loads of these and the wear on them is so, so minimal, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, I just think, I love them. I do think they're worth the money because I think they're a great shoe, uh, but they do kind of seem a bit overpriced because when I compare them to these ones, which I think really do deserve first place for various reasons, um, these just feel way more luxurious. I would say on feeling that these have a similar feel of looks to them if that makes sense. It's just such a shame that these didn't stay on the foot, the Massimo ones, because they also have a really lovely finish to them, the detailing through the heel and everything. They make them feel like a similar quality. Uh, but these were so, so, so comfortable. I got the most compliments on these. Obviously, they're quite standout, so that would be why. Um, but I'm impressed that none of the rhinestones and gems have fallen off. That was one thing that I was really keeping an eye out for because I do find that that's something that can happen with these style of shoes, but at, there's not a single one that's fallen off, even the really small ones. So, um, yeah, I think they look great. Again, as with the Massimo ones, they are satin, so if you wanted something more durable, then go for... Uh, the and of the stories ones the rochus ones even velvet is a durable fabric but they have scuffed a bit so they're not going to be the most durable they're definitely a looks evening shoe but i think they're absolutely beautiful i really like the angle of the point they look great on the foot they're so over the top and really fun to style with just jeans and a white t-shirt so thank you so much june because for sending me these because these have been the first place winners which i absolutely love so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I've really enjoyed filming this one because the shoes have been really fun to style and I really, really like how they all look basically, apart from the H&M ones I guess, but I think I've got five pairs of shoes that I do like to varying degrees obviously. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next for testing basics because we're kind of coming into the new season 
but the new stock's not fully in the shops yet so I'm a bit of an in-between point but I'm really excited to get going with the autumn winter ones so any suggestions always welcome thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one